As we talked about roadblocks, I thought I'd highlight two things. One that carries over from last time and one that's new to this time. The first is comfort. If you're gonna do anything new, adventurous, exciting, risky, it's gonna be uncomfortable at some point or possibly the entire time. And that's a huge roadblock to most of us. I mean, naturally, we lean away from discomfort. We wanna be comfortable, we wanna lean into that, and that weakens us to being able to do new and exciting things. So one roadblock you're gonna encounter, and a great way to know that you're headed in the right direction, is when you start to feel uncomfortable. And I would argue that you really need to lean into that to overcome it. So without a little discomfort, you're probably not doing anything all that new, and you're definitely gonna run into it. Like, you're definitely going to run into some discomfort along the way. So be ready for that. So, if discomfort is kind of a natural roadblock that you can just power through, and I'd suggest it, uh, cactus or cacti would definitely be an example of a natural roadblock I would not suggest powering through. Unless you have a bulldozer, still, be careful. The other one I wanna talk about is people. I think this is probably the one that's the hardest to prepare yourself for, especially when you're really excited to do something, you're feeling really passionate about a project, and then somebody just takes a big dump on you. And you could be doing the greatest thing in the world, you could be doing the nicest, kindest, most amazing thing in the world, and there's still gonna be somebody out there who does not approve. Whether that's because they're jealous, whether that's because they're scared for you, whether that's because they're scared for themselves, they just it makes them uncomfortable, there's always gonna be somebody out there that does not approve of whatever it is you're doing. And it's probably gonna be somebody you don't expect and probably gonna be somebody that you really care about. And that's why it's a big roadblock. It's really hard to know how to handle this. I think that there are two different ways to go about it and both should probably be taken in tandem. One is that you should have great counselors. Whoever it is that you find to be wise and to know you well and to love you and to really trust you, that you trust, you should go to those people with anything and everything and just listen to them. If they think what you're doing is really a terrible idea and multiple people in that category think it's a bad idea, you should probably listen to them. That said, when you have a really good idea, when you're going out there and you're throwing yourself into the arena and you're putting yourself on the line, at the same time, you shouldn't listen to anybody. You should just go. You should do what makes you excited, what gets your passions going and what you're good at. And then just forget the rest. Everyone needs an adventure buddy when they're going out on a new project or adventure. Indy's my adventure buddy here on the island. She's great. She sticks with me. She buys into pretty much everything as long as the other dogs don't start attacking her. And at CJEP, we want to be your adventure buddy. We want to go with you wherever it is that you're going next. We want to help you with your website, your branding, your SEO. We promise not to do that when we're hanging out with you. Yeah. Whether you're starting a new business or revamping an old one, we want to be a part of the process and we want to be a part of the adventure. And we're ready to stand out in the hot sun and sweat for you. Don't worry, we got your back. Whoa.